This is Fox 25 Morning News. All right, listen up, Red Sox fans. There's a great event taking place tonight. It's the unveiling of the official World Series victory painting sanctioned by Major League Baseball. It depicts Red Sox in celebration immediately following their win over the Cardinals last October. It's loaded with symbolism and imagery related to Red Sox history. It is called Boston Champs. We're joined this morning by the artist Opie Otterstad. And Opie, thanks for coming in. I've been enjoying uh, taking a look at this while we've been waiting to uh, come on here. A brilliant piece of work. Uh, let's first start with, the, you get all the players here now. A was, lot this, of them. was this based on, on a photo, or did you kind of mix up some images and, right. and made your own deal here? Well, I, I actually started putting the image together during game two. Um, you know, I thought things were looking pretty good, so <laughs> I started looking at, you know, different images of guys jumping around celebrating after the win against the Yankees, and then, um, you know, picking out different faces I liked and, and juxtaposing them together, and basically it's... Uh, about three days in Photoshop, kind of Frankensteining him, an now, image together. Now, uh, you talked about the images. You got this here. Uh, talk about some of the stuff you're pointing out to me, because you have to really take a look at this, and you see some things in here and some in images, and, and it really is pretty impressive what you've worked in here. Why don't we start at the top here? Well, you can't really tell the story of, you know, the win last year without telling the story, the history of basically the, back to 1903 but especially back to the last World Series win and the curse of the Bambino. Right. So I put Babe up there tearing in half a document that says the curse of the Bambino, January 3rd, 1920. And then I put, you know, Fenway Park kind of faintly ghosted in there too. Mm, with see the, that in here. Right, with the years of the championships that they've won. And then uh, even in each of the arcs, I put numbers of great Red Sox players that uh, never did win, win a World Series, so. And then you've got the importance of the three fingers you've got uh, uh, pointing up in the air. Well, you've got, yeah, for number three, which is, of course, Babe Ruth's number. And then uh, even like Kurt Schilling's arm covers up the, the 1967 flag there in the back. So. That's when the Cardinals beat the Red Sox in the World Series then. Right. Now, how many of these are, are, uh, are going to be available to the general public? Um, 204. 204, that 204 was, prints. Yeah, it, a very small edition. Um, and they're all hand embellished clay prints. So they, you know, have a I don't know, just a little nicer. It was like around, around 1200 bucks, I think, something yeah, like that. Now, expensive. you've been doing a lot of these. You've done like a thousand baseball related paintings, yeah, is that right? At least. How yeah. did you get involved with that? Um, I, I don't know. I, I was taught by my teachers, you know, growing up that you paint the things you love. It's like being a writer, you know, write the things you know about. And I've always been a huge baseball fan, and so um, sports in general. Um, so that's what I painted. That's my And how did you get, get uh, hooked up with Major League Baseball so they would say, you know what, we deem this the official painting? <laughs> You are so deemed. Um, I, I guess I've That's had a your third one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For and world champions. Anyway. The uh, uh, I guess it's just kind of an ongoing relationship. I was the artist for the All Star Game back in '99 here in Boston, mm -hmm. so um, you know, just have a working relationship with with MLB and and some of the clubs, in particular Boston now. So. Now the players. Any of the players had a chance to see this? If so, what's been their reaction? Um, yeah, the players have liked it quite a bit. You know, there have been. Uh, unfortunately, when you're working on a piece like this, you have, uh, I, you know, after a while, you, you have to make decisions on who gets in the painting and who doesn't. And so, you know, obviously there are some omissions, um, you know, people that probably should be in there that aren't. Um, so, you know, guys were saying, oh, well, well, we're so-and-so and we're so-and-so. I'm like, I don't know, they're at the bottom of the pile, so. <laughs> they're in there somewhere. They're in there somewhere. All right, now you can see the uh, official painting. It's on display tonight at 7 o'clock at Newbury Fine Arts. That's 29 Newbury Street in Boston. The walls of the gallery are also going to be filled with Opie's works. Admission is free and open to the public, and you get an up-close look at this piece of work. It really is very impressive, and I think uh, Red Sox Nation is going to uh, embrace this wholeheartedly. Opie, you did a terrific job, so congratulations. Opie Otterstadt, thanks Thank for you. coming in. Yeah, we appreciate my pleasure. It. We'll continue here on the Fox Way 5 Morning News in just a moment with a look at the weather and traffic, and we're going to reveal the winner of our U2 Entertainment Reporter Contest. That's coming up as well. You're watching the Fox 25 Morning News.